want to make this uh, a national agenda. But do you think that all states should think in the in the ways that you are about education? So look, I think I think we've been a trendsetter for many for K through 12. I mean, our school choice, you now see that exploding across the country, what we've done in charter schools, what we've done to ensure education, not indoctrination in our curriculum, such as the dealing with the gender ideology and the CRT. So you're seeing more and more of that. I think higher education has just been something where they kind of just let it go and leave it to its own devices. And I think here we're showing that, no, you need vision from the people of the state. And the people's vision is able to be articulated through the people that they elect to the legislature and to the governor's office. And I would encourage other like-minded states uh, to follow our lead and to, and to look into making these really common sense reforms. President Trump has criticized you uh, a number of times in the past couple of days. <coughs> Uh, on a number of different issues, one of them being COVID in the state. Uh, I well, look, what I would just say is this. Um, I roll out of bed. I have people attacking me from all angles. <laughs> it's been happening for many, many years. And if you look at the good thing about it, though, is like if you take a crisis situation like COVID, you know, the good thing about it is when you're an elected executive, you have to make all kinds of decisions. You've got to steer that ship. And the good thing is, is that the people are able to render a judgment on that, whether they reelect you or not. And I'm happy to say, you know, in my case, not only did we win reelection, we won with the highest percentage of the vote that any Republican governor candidate has in the history of the state of Florida. We won by the largest raw vote margin, over 1.5 million votes, than any uh, governor candidate has ever had in Florida history. And in fact, we almost doubled the previous record, which I think was like 780,000 vote margin. And so what I would just say is uh, that verdict has been rendered by the people of the state of Florida. Yeah.